Hello, fellow Toastmasters. It is I, District Director James Hippolyte from District 112, here with another exciting video for tutorial on this time, how to use my Microsoft Excel macro for pathways reporting. Now, the prerequisites for this tutorial are that you have downloaded the zip file of the macro from the Google Drive, and the link will be in the description of this video. Second, you must be a Pathways Basecamp manager in order to get the reports. And three, you must have Microsoft Excel, a version greater than 2010. All right, let's go straight to screen share and start the demonstration. All right, so what we have here, don't worry about this old version, but this is the file that I've downloaded. The first thing I recommend is uh, take a look at it. It's a .xlsm, which means it's an Excel macro. I'm going to copy paste, and I'm going to rename the copy, and I'm going to go your club. So in other words, I want you to type your club name there. Why? Because you can maintain multiple copies of the file for whatever clubs you belong to. Once you've got your name sorted, Let's double click the file and start Excel. So when Excel opens, it happens to take me to uh, the last tab, which is version control. And you should have version two, which I updated today, the 1st of August, 2023, with the new format of the reports, which I just discovered Basecamp has changed the format. The next thing you need to notice is that saying, hey, this is a macro, macros are dangerous. Do you wish to enable content? I would. Trust me, enable the content on this file. So we will. All right, next thing is I want you to go to tab one, the introduction. Please don't skip this. It's quite important. All right, so what we have done, we have opened the spreadsheet. We have clicked on enable content. Now, I've also logged into Toastmasters International uh, website, and I've gone into my profile, and I've gone into Basecamp. So I've just pre-done that, so just to save a bit of time. Logged into Basecamp Manager. Now I'm ready to click on the member button. So here we're in Basecamp. Click on the member progress button. And it is one individual progress. So the next thing is under the member progress button, under options, select refresh. So under options, select refresh. Now what that will do is that if you haven't been into this page uh, for a day, it will now do a round trip and refresh from World Headquarters and get the latest data. Uh, so that is exactly what is happening here. So for level one, level two, level three, level four, and level five. Great, done, excellent. Next, under level one, select the drop down arrow, arrow for export to Excel. All right, so. Under level one, this drop down arrow export to Excel. So it will go and perform an export. And there it is, level one projects. So if I click on that tab there, it will also open in Excel. And this has changed since a month ago. Uh, I've just discovered they've now given us two tabs. So the level one is the chart. Uh, sorry, tab one shows us the chart and tab two shows us the raw data. Now that's what I want to grab. So I'm going to copy everything from the user full name, but I'm not going to copy the header, just the data. So I'm getting the data, I'm scrolling over to the right and I'm scrolling down and I'm with my finger on shift. So I'm highlighting all of the data changes and I'm going to go uh, copy. And I'm going to tab back to my spreadsheet and I'm going to go to my level one tab and I'm going to go to A2. So I'm not overwriting the header, I'm replacing the data. And in A2, I'm going to go paste. Okay, so I've now pasted the data successfully. I recommend you scroll down to the bottom and make sure that there's no old data hanging off the end here, uh, just in case. Uh, that happens, that can happen. And just delete any old data by selecting the rows and going uh, data, what's the, what is it? 
Yeah. I just do a shortcut, Alt E D for edit, delete, whatever it is. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, or, yeah, highlight any extra data, go right mouse click and go delete rows. So, that's how you get rid of any overlap at the bottom. All right. So, I've done that for level one. Let's go back to my instructions under level one, open the download beneath the chart, find the table, the data, move to the level one and paste the data. Now repeat the steps for levels two, three, four, and five. All right, so I'm going to go back to uh, the Postmasters. Here's level two. Again, the drop down, export to Excel. This is quite quick. Here's the level two spreadsheet. So click on the level two spreadsheet and give Excel a moment to open it. Here's the level two data. So here's the level two chart. Here's the level two data. So again, I'm going to take the data. My finger on shift to highlight everything. Copy. And I'm going to put it into my Excel spreadsheet in the level two tab. And I'm going to paste it there. Paste. Okay. And just scroll down to the bottom just to make sure there's no overlap. There is no overlap. Moving on to level three. So Alt tab back to dashboards. I don't know why it says dashboards. Oh, I guess it is dashboards. Okay. Level three export to Excel. A little bit tedious, but the magic is after we have successfully copied all the data across. So I'm opening up the level three spreadsheet now, grabbing the data for level three. Copy, tabbing back to my one, going to the level three tab, going to A2 and paste. All looks good there. Yep, looks clean. Having back to the dashboard, going to the level four drop down, export to Excel. Give it a moment. Do a round trip. Around, how was your flight? Okay, welcome back. Level four. Copying the level four data and copy and tabbing back to my spreadsheet, going to the level four tab and a cell A2, column A, row two, paste, checking that there's no overlap, there is no overlap, tabbing back to dashboards and finally level five. Download, export to Excel. Round trip, there's level five data. Here's level five data here. So copying the level five data. Copy and the level five tab, A2, paste. And we have successfully overlapped everything. Okay, so I've punched all the data in from the base camp. Now, go back to the introduction tab. What's next? We've repeated it for level five. Last step, click this button here. He was hoping. So what this button should be doing is it's reading level one and level two and level three and level four, and level five, and it's putting them into this consolidated sheet. And in this consolidated sheet, it's saying, okay, level one, this user, uh, with this user ID, with this uh, title, uh, with this path, with this, text me later, thank you, um, type, with this status, and date of change, All right? So we've got raw data, level one, underneath level one, we've got level two, okay? So this is a what we call a long file. So it's consolidated all of those five tabs. From the long data, we can then pivot. So the pivot now tells me for this, these users along the top have engaged, have done these paths from this level 
and this project on this date. And that's the usefulness of this macro is just putting it all in one place where we can see who's done what and when. And so if there are gaps, you know, aha, there's still some more to do. So for the Vice President Education, this is an aid in working out gaps where people need to fill in in order to complete levels. That includes this video, Go Forth and Conquer. Yes, stopping share and stopping recording.